Hello, my beautiful crafty friends. Welcome to Always Forever Creations. My name is Stephanie. If you are new, welcome. Be sure to subscribe. In today's video, I am going to be decorating a page for my stacked envelope sunflower journal that I have been working on. Maybe I should make a playlist in case you want to see. I didn't... I didn't film the beginning portions of this. Um, I started to, but I was going through a tough time. So that building the actual foundation, I don't have videos of that. Um, but yes, anyway. <laughs> okay, so I am going to be doing a gatefold that will reveal a little scrappy notepad on a page. Um, I am adding a page. I'm going to use this old Happy Planner page and it's gonna fit in the signature in between these two pages, I think. Yeah, cause I don't know, I feel like there needs to be another page and I couldn't find a good one to put this on. And then, since this doesn't really vibe with this, I'm going to decorate all four pages of this page. So that will be fun. Um, and so I'm gonna start using this half of this journal page from Gypsy Craftery. This is the Sunflower Journal Kit and that will be linked below. Okay, so to start, I'm just going to rip it in half and then rip off all the white edges. How is everyone doing? I hope all is well. Oh dear. Um, I feel like I haven't been doing much lately. Like I'm supposed to have a video go up tomorrow, but I haven't edited it yet, so. <laughs> That's what I'm going to be doing today. And hopefully I'll get started on this one being edited as well. That seems a little ambitious of me though. All right, so using the doors as doors. Okay. I think I'm done with this. I haven't been doing crafting things too much, but have gotten my house slightly back in order, caught up on laundry and like cleaning out the fridge and vacuuming. <laughs> Okay, we are all inked there. Alrighty. Now what? <laughs> um, this unfortunately is going to be bright white. I guess I could coffee dye it. I'm sure you guys can hear that, but there was some geese that flew by and they were squawking pretty loudly. Um, if I coffee dye this, I'm not gonna be able to work on this right now. Okay, 
just let me let's 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 think about this for a second. This goes here on the very edge and opens up. And then there's a bunch of papers in there. And it's not gonna be replenishable. They're just gonna, I'm gonna, they're gonna be secured in somehow. I guess the back page could be glued down completely. So then you wouldn't really see this part. And then if I wanted to, when I'm done with this portion, then I can go and coffee dye it to then decorate the other pages or the, yeah, the other parts of this page. Okay. And yeah, I can do that already. So is this the way the door goes? I don't know, but that's the way it's gonna go now. Okay, I guess what I need to figure out is do I do the, put the doors on first and then put the Okay, I don't know. <laughs> Let's fold this in half. That's a good start. Okay, come on. Line up. papers here are left over from my little reference notebook that I made. Um, I can link that one below. So the last page needs to be pretty wide like this one. So I think this will be the bottom layer. Yes. Okay. I am going to glue this on now, I think. Oh my gosh, it's so nerve wracking. <laughs> um, glue. I know there's no wrong way to do this, but I always feel like I'm going to do something wrong or I'm going to think of something else in the middle and then I can't do it because I already glued, you know, something down. And... I want the top lined up. Pretty good. I think I'm gonna staple the other pieces in and then I'll do some kind of fold over to the other side to hide the staples just so it doesn't affect whatever we do on this side. Okay, there's gonna be a thick sheet in this journal. Okay, so now I'm not sure because a lot of my papers kind of go this way. I can glue them together, rip them in half, glue them together, then kind of stack them that way. Okay, let's do that. So um, let's get... a little bit more variation in this stack. 
that's good and then we can do um graph paper all right so i'm gonna glue this edge down to this edge I know this color doesn't really go in this journal, but oh well, that's what I have to use. And I'm gonna use it. Oh, this is that, that's okay. Get in frame. Now, these edges, those edges are okay. Um, train. Let's wait for that to pass. All right, it's a long train. At least the horn part is kind of way far away. All right, now I'm just going to rip this in half. Hopefully, that will work. Maybe. Here we go. There we go. Okay, so that can go there. And then I do have this that can go there. Um, what else? We can make another one of these. This can also go in here. So let's see. And ooh, I love this stuff here. Okay. Like that. Kind of a different way to make a scrappy notebook. <laughs> this was uh, not my plan until I saw these pieces. Okay, so what I'm going to do is rip this one in half. This one did not have time for a train to come by and dry a little bit, so hopefully it will still rip okay. <laughs> yeah. Yes, okay, so we'll put that one there. And then I do have some more full pagey type things. Okay, these can go in here. And then this, what? Good morning. That and then finally this. That actually might be too many pages. We should probably narrow this down some. Okay, maybe we just use all of these. 
me take these other pages out. I think that's a better option. Okay. And it's fun. It's like a really scrappy, scrappy notebook. <laughs> Whatever that means. Excuse me. Okay. Is that still too thick? I think that will be okay. We're gonna have to, oh. See, I messed up. <laughs> We're going to have to put some kind of closure. Okay, so we'll have to think of a different closure than what I was going to do. That is fine. But we'll need some kind of closure. I don't know what that will be yet. But then this... will go on top and kind of hide it. Okay. I think I'm not sure what to do. Man, I cannot stay in frame. I am sorry. Okay. I think I'm going to staple them in now. Yes, some of these bottom pages may need to just be ripped off a little bit because they're a little long, that's okay. Okay. And then I will have something to go over the staples. Ah, okay. Just want to make sure that all the pages are lined up at the top here. Okay, and then line it up at the top here. And then I'm going to use two staples. And there. And there, okay. And then let's cover those now. I did have, where did it go? I did have some scrap coffee dye paper on my desk and now it is gone. It did too thorough of a cleaning. It fell on the floor, I see it. <laughs> Perfect. So I'm just going to glue that down here. Oh, my daughter's already fussing. We're gonna have to move her to a toddler bed soon because she tried to climb out of her crib. It was very scary. <laughs> so. I don't think I gave myself enough room to really get around these staples. Okay. I think there's still embossing powder everywhere from my last project. Okay. That is sticking now. Good there. Okay. I like it. Let's trim these up some. Gonna trim, try to trim them at different lengths. I 
This one might be a little bit more difficult to do. Oh, so tiny. All right. What time is it? I think I'm gonna have to finish this later because my daughter is is done, I guess, in her crib. Um, yes, so I will be back in one second. See you soon. Okay, I am back. Hello, one second over. It is the next morning, very early. I woke up like an hour earlier than I normally do. So this day should be interesting. Okay, I pulled out some scrap coffee dyed copy paper. I'm going to use this for my hinge. For my, I'm going to use it for my hinge for these gate fold doors. And there's my daughter, of course. Perfect timing. I've, it's already been a morning. My, I don't know what's going on with our dog, but well, nothing's going on with him. I don't know why I said that, but he pees in the house every night. Um, I, I have gotten pee pads and tried putting those down. Um, sorry, I can't see what I'm doing. Um, of course he does not pee on those. And then, so every morning I have that to clean up. And then there was a roach in the house. So we have to call pest control today. I'm starting to think a half inch probably is not enough for a hinge. Okay, um, so we moved in in October and it was still hot outside. But of course, like the backyard was completely cleaned up and the house was, you know, got a deep cleaning. So we didn't really deal with any bugs at that point. So now we're getting into the warm weather and summertime is coming and they all come out and you never know what you're going to get. So I'm assuming we'll get roaches and ants. I think we are in an area where scorpions are not going to show up. So that's good. Um, wow. Why am I having such a hard time just folding this in half? Okay. Um, so I don't think we'll have to worry about scorpions, but knock on wood. Since that one is a clean cut, I should probably have this one be a clean cut just so they match because you will see it. Um, somewhere, you'll see it somewhere. Now I'm thinking the back of these doors are white. <sighs> what do I do about that? Do I just leave them white? Okay, I put this lime paper away, but I'm gonna pull it back out now so we can use it. So yeah, bugs in hot weather. I'm not really like a summertime person. <laughs> Don't get me wrong, I love when the sun is out and there's like a nice warmth but it just gets plain hot here so it's been really nice the last few months abnormally nice I would say it's not usually this cool still 
at this time. Like outside, it's 59 degrees. And yesterday it was 54 in the morning, like when I was taking my son to school. So yeah, I think all our rain has now passed and it's just gonna get hot and hot and hot now. Hotter, hotter and hotter. Okay, I, uh, I'm just gonna back this with this. Wow, it like fits. It fits perfectly. It's so, so strange. The the length makes sense, but the width is like, wow, that's actually perfect. Birds are chirping. <laughs> oh my goodness, come on. Okay. My goodness. Anything on this side I would want to trim off. Well, that is so tiny. I'm just gonna re-ink to kind of hide the overlap in places. I think that's good. Good way to go about it. Okay, one, one door down. Is this, oh, this one doesn't fit as nice. Interesting. Okay. Hmm. Well, we're going to have a hinge. Wow, struggling. Okay, so that will hide part of it. I just gotta make sure it's on the right side. So this would be glued here. And this would go here. Okay. guys hear the bird it's a lot there's a lot going on out there I'm having a hard time staying in frame. I am sorry. I'm being quiet. <sighs> okay. Just gonna check again. This one's gonna open this way. I'm gonna put glue here. The hinge goes towards the outside. Okay. 
The hinges are easier to do. If you make them an inch long and then fold them in half, I'm just trying to use scrap rather than cut up new paper. Okay, and then I feel like there's something on my bone folder. It's like scratching the paper. Okay, so this will go here. Okay, next one goes this way, hinge goes on this side, stay in frame, I was going to use washi tape, but that wouldn't work very well. For this side, because I was going to wrap it around the edge, but that doesn't really work for this side here. So, <laughs> yeah. So I am not using washi tape. There's something on this glue or something. It is rolling off, so that's good. Okay. So now this one, I think I can glue straight to the edge. And then this one I won't glue right on the edge, but close. Okay, actually, <laughs> I'm gonna line the hinge up with the edge of this over flap thing that I have here. And I think I'm going to line it up with the bottom rather than trying to center it. I'm just worried that I won't be able to get it even if I try to center it. And well, I guess I can have this closed. Okay, I will center it. I guess it just takes a little bit more thinking sometimes. Okay, once we do this part, are we done? Actually, I'm not sure. I feel like it's gonna need some kind of closure. that one. It's not on straight. <laughs> Is it gonna, oh no. Oh no, I should have put this one on first. 
I'm not going to be able to get that off. Oh dear, I did not think this through. I made an assumption. And I did not even think about the doors meeting in the middle. <sighs> okay. It might be good that they overlap for closure purposes. Okay, let's open this. Press that down real good. Okay. Okay. I do like it though. <laughs> looks it's like peeling up here not sure why but I like the look of it okay I might put washi tape um here on the center of the signature just to kind of hide that a little bit it's wonky, it's fun, I don't know. <laughs> I like the pages inside. I should have paid attention more when putting the doors together. Okay, how do we keep this closed? I mean, it is staying closed pretty good, but when you flip the page, is that gonna be a problem? Maybe. I would like to do a magnet, but I only have big ones and I feel like it needs a small one, but my birthday is coming up and I wanted to do birthday haul from May May Made It and she sells the small magnets if they're in stock. So it could be something that gets added later when I do get it in stock. I feel like it needs stiff. Um. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. Okay. <laughs> I'll find something. Ooh, I like this. If we use this, oh, I don't, I don't like that. Just kidding. I like that. If we use this as the closure that could work. Okay, so I, I think I can glue this on now. Uh, should we make it more clustery? I think this is just a cut off. I'm just playing, I'm sorry. 
green paste number two. <laughs> I do like that. Okay. Don't have, um, I can glue these all together and then do I want stuff on the inside? Sorry. I, <laughs> I don't, I'm getting really hungry for some reason. <laughs> I'm not usually too hungry in the morning to like 10 o'clock or so, so it's a little weird. It's telling me I need to drink more coffee, I guess. Actually, probably more water. But I tend to drink coffee in the mornings. There, I do really like this. I'm wondering... Um, I'm wondering how big this is. Compared to this. Um, to put something behind this to stiffen this up a little bit. Let's see. Just some... Um, Scrap on my desk. Okay, so this is a lot smaller. I think that will be okay. Actually, this might be good to hide the magnet in. Not that it needs to be hidden because I'm not sure how I would hide it on the opposite side if I would. So. Because it actually, it feels like the magnet should be over here. Okay, I don't like, I like this right in the center. So the magnet can hide here. Okay, so I can, I am going to glue this all together right now. I might regret that later. Okay, that did not stick to the vellum at all. Okay, then when I put the magnet in, I will put this on the back here. And then I can even ink all that because you'll kind of see this part when you open it, but I can worry about that later. So I'm just gonna kind of keep all this stuff with this for now, paper clip it or something, and I'll get that figured out. Okay, so then I'll leave this side blank right now, but I might put something on the back here because I could put the magnet on the inside here and then I can hide it. So, but do we want anything else here or maybe even back here? I think. Ah, <gasps> uh, I glued this piece of paper in already. Wow, that's crazy. Okay, we'll just rip it. Uh. 
Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. It's, it's okay. Okay. All right. Anyway, back here. Maybe a pocket and we can put one of these Raven journaling cards back here. I need to back it with something, but can stick that in. Ooh, I like that. So these, this digital kit is so pretty. Okay. Um, pocket, what should I use for a pocket? has to be a big pocket. Um, I should probably dig into the bigger scraps. those all a good crease there and then hopefully this does not get in the way there we go just take it off got it off okay um had a pencil i don't think it needs to be gusseted or anything we are kind of running out of room here. The rest of the decorating on these pages probably needs to be pretty thin. has joined us in the room. He's pretty quiet though. Sometimes he snores loud, but since he can't hear himself, he's, he, he doesn't bark anymore or anything like that. Or make like cooing type noises. I don't know. Do, do dogs coo? Like kind of their moans and groans when they roll over or they get a good pet, that type of thing. He doesn't make those kinds of noises anymore. To gain more room in a pocket, if you just kind of pinch the top corners in, you'll get that little lift. And it gives for a little bit more room in your pocket without doing like a gusset or anything like that, of course. The pocket is actually too tall. <laughs> Uh, that's okay. <laughs> okay, do we want to decorate the pocket? I do need to back this with something. I'm not sure what yet. What is this? Okay. <laughs> um, sorry, getting distracted. Just gonna kinda tear around this. Okay, stick that on there.
I think I do need to print more line paper for this journal for some of these journaling cards. I printed this on the thinner paper and obviously I did not print anything on the back. I could have, but I didn't. Um, mostly because I wanted them as fussy cuts like this one here. So, um, but yes, I don't think I have this I could do. Hmm. Yeah, why not? On Sunday, June 28th, I went to the Chris Young concert. I don't know what year this was, though. He has a new album out. I have not listened to it, though. I, uh, I am not good at listening to new music now. That was my, like, favorite thing to do in my 20s. I was all about it. I thought about, like, writing a country music blog. <laughs> Never happened, but I thought about it. Because I was always on the scout for all the new music coming out. And that's when you had to listen to, like, the radio for hours to hear one song. Messy with the glue. Okay. But yes, I do not listen to a lot of new music now. Especially because the place I like to do it is in the car. And my kids control the radio <laughs> right now. My son is all about movie music. He loves Star Wars music and... His new, his new thing is uh, Pirates of the Caribbean and but even when he was young like his first birthday party was the greatest showman themed but like obviously he didn't watch the movie as a baby but that was the only music that we can turn on in the car that would calm him down it was the strangest thing yeah, he's just, he's definitely going to be a musician or a theater kid or, well, he won't be a kid anymore when he grows up, but <laughs> definitely more that route. But yeah, he can tell you like, what scene of the movie is happening based on what song we're listening to. Okay. I think we are done. Go in. Here we go. That flips over like that. Okay. And this will go on here. And I will just paper clip it for now. Okay, that is it for today's video. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you feel inspired and motivated and you get some good crafting time in today. If you are new and you are still here, I hope you will consider subscribing and sticking around. I have a big goal of meeting 1,000 subscribers before 2025. I really like how this turned out. I will like it better when I get the magnet in and it has its little closure and then it will open and then we have this fun, super scrappy notebook <laughs> or notepad, I should say. And then a little pocket and journaling card in the back and lots of room for writing.
Thank you again. Let's get together again soon.